What's the good word, Jets fans? It's your boy DKB here. Imagine I tell you October 25th, 2024, with a 2-5 record staring us in the face that the New York Jets has a coin flip chance of making the playoffs. This is exactly what ESPN Analytics predicts for the New York Jets, which I feel like is insanely high, right? According to them, the New York Jets have a they have a 47% chance of reaching the playoffs currently two and five that's not with us winning against the Patriots potentially that's not um accounting for for you know anybody else in the AFC really falling off and dropping uh the ball here to really help us out right and I do think objectively even if the Jets can go on a bit of a streak here even if we can win the majority of these games and keep in mind it's probably going to take double digit wins so you're talking about having to go i think it's seven and three or something like eight and two over the next remaining games just to have that possibility right i think 10 wins is definitely the barrier to entry here but objectively when you look at two other avenues that are also predicting jets eyes i think it does make it paints a little bit more of a, a realistic picture in my mind right the first one being when you take a look at like the athletics predictor uh, model, for example, they have us at a 19% chance to make the playoffs. Much more realistic based on performances we've seen, based on dysfunction. Um, of course, with you know Woody Johnson kind of leading the charge there and it trickling down. Um, but then also just realistically where the Jets sit in the pecking order. Currently, we have the fifth. Uh, picking an NFL draft if things ended uh, today, for example, to let you guys know how bad it is. I already kind of quoted that we're closer to picking number one than we are reaching the playoffs, right? So it feels like a far cry. But in the vein of being optimistic, right, when you take a look at what the Jets have to do to accomplish this, uh, getting to 10 wins is a tall order, right? Maybe you can get it done with nine, but it would require a ton of of assistance but uh the next four games are really technically the next five before the bye week there isn't anything totally out of the norm here to say that we can't go uh you know potentially four and one three and two something like that right so the next quartet of games you have the texans excuse me you have the patriots right Already beat them once. Looks like a very winnable game on paper. You have the Texans. And while we dominated them last year, this feels like a very different New York Jets team. So nothing's nothing's given with any of these teams I'm going to talk about. But obviously, so far, this is the most contentious matchup for us. Then you have the Cardinals. Feels like a very winnable game. Colts feels like a winnable game and then you have the Seahawks which was you know probably be the next toughest team uh of uh, after the Texans in these next five weeks um and so again three two maybe four and one isn't crazy if you go four and one you're talking about just being a game over 500 um which at that point you can honestly say you you finally have some life you have not breathing room, but you can take that breath and, you know, not have to, to, you know, turn blue in the face for a while. You get an extra week of preparation, schedule lightens up a lot more, right? Um, but if you end up 3-2, you end up 500, essentially kind of the same situation. But uh, I obviously would love to have a winning record heading into the later parts of the season here. Hopefully, you imagine we have some things worked out. But the rest of the schedule you look at, you have the Dolphins coming uh, right after the bye week. You have the Jaguars. Both feel like winnable games. The Rams potentially a concern, right? Especially if they start getting healthy. Bills obviously concerning. And then we end our season against the Dolphins. And that could be a huge, huge matchup, which is why they haven't uh, determined a time slot. I'm assuming that one might be flexed into a primetime game if the Jets are still looking at things on paper. But, you know, when you take a look at the strength of schedule according to dvoa the jets had the easiest schedule for the remainder of the season right so things kind of line up for you extremely well if you're a jets fan here if you're you know tugging at the the heartstrings you're you know looking at the glass half full here the jets have a ton of winnable games on this roster right and so I would say if you're looking at that there's still a strong opportunity now from a playoffs perspective, would I feel good about it, especially if these aren't strong wins? No. 
I've been saying for a long time here that, you know, it would be nice just to get to the playoffs, but kind of thinking on it, I don't want to get to the playoffs just to get bounced by a team that hasn't looked like a pretender all year, right? But still, it would be nice to see some, you know, January football getting played by the Jets, I suppose. So, I'm all for it, right? It, it, we have the roster, right? Uh, for the people that still feel good about the team, it's going to come down to the conversation of we have the talent. It's do we have the coaching in place? Do we have the consistency? Can the players kind of rise above the coaching staff or can the coaching staff find a way to, uh, you know, get these players in the right spots? Kind of already touched on Jeff Ulbrich and some of the concerns I have about him too much on his plate. That's why you see the defense, um, you know, starting to fall to pieces a bit here. Players like Sauce that whether you love him or hate him, he has been an elite player. But you're starting to see what looks like a, a breakdown in technique and fundamentals there. And obviously the offense kind of feels like it's hopeless no matter what we do since we don't really have a, a strong offensive mind on that side of the ball that I would say we can objectively say we're comfortable and feel good about. So we'll see how it pans out. I, I had to bring it up, though, because it was an interesting conversation to have that what does happen here if the Jets do somehow find, you know, the sauce <laughs> and, and they go on some kind of crazy run, uh, you know, eight games over these, you know, next 10 or something of the sort there. Um, and again, objectively, I think you can look at the schedule and honestly say that that's not clearly out of the realm of possibility, which, you know, makes it interesting to entertain, I suppose. But let me know what you guys think um, about this whole situation. And, you know, are you just wanting to blow it up now and let's start figuring out draft prep? Let's start taking a look at the coaching reviews and stuff, which, by the way, I'm getting ready to start uh, dropping some of those videos um, for coaching candidate, you know, kind of breakdowns. And then uh, for those that feel like we can make this push, I feel like we have to go all for it, right? Uh, will it hurt us in terms of draft situations? Of course, uh, let's say we just can't quite get over the hump and now you're picking 18th. Um, you're going to look back to this day and say, you know, we were fifth towards the end of October. And, uh, you know, we screwed ourselves out of top quarterbacks, top weapons, all that kind of fun stuff. So let me know what you guys ultimately think. Is it realistic that the Jets cannot actually get to the playoffs? Can we beat some of these teams that on paper we should actually be able to beat? Um, or is it too far, too gone already? I'll catch you guys again. Peace.